Hello everyone, it's me Carmela. I hope you are well and safe these days. We had a couple of days off and decided to go sightseeing in France. So I hope you stay with me on this road trip and on Eva, let's go! The Loire Valley is filled with historical towns and villages, vineyards and chateaus. This mix of beauty, culture and history has made it a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Our first stop is a unique chateau that bridges the river Cher. Once an old mill, it was turned into a chateau in 1514. So as I was heading into the forest, something stopped me on my tracks. A sweet scent lingered in the air, and I wanted to find out what it was. And then I saw them. A carpet of flowers called cyclamens were scattered on the castle grounds. The scent, the sound, and the feel of that moment was just delightful. They say love is free, but it's more than you. Can see it's a song, it's a melody, it's the beat of you and me. It takes more than words to know. Oh, 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 oh. It takes more than bills to show. It's time for dinner and I noticed there were plenty of Italian restaurants around. I wonder if it's because of a famous Italian who spent his last days in this town. I'm not sure if you recognize him in this painting, but I'm pretty sure that you've heard about him. So tomorrow, we are going up the castle to check out his final resting place. Oh, and by the way, this is the hotel that we booked just before dinner. Hello guys, so itutur ko lang kayo sa room namin for tonight. So, ito yung bedroom. Nice view. <laughs> Good 
Good morning, or should I say bonjour? I probably pronounced that wrong, but anyways, we are looking for a breakfast spot. And uh, first, let's take a look at this historical monument. The bell tower was previously the gates to the city and was transformed into a belfry in the late 15th century. Then, a clock was installed in 1501. Alright, so we found the boulangerie, and as usual, it's a little bit hard to choose. I ended up having a croissant and a tarte de pomme right next to the old castle. Then afterwards, we'll go up to visit the tomb of one of the most important artists in history. And so, nandito na tayo sa garden. view Is that him? The first thing you'll notice when you come up the chateau is this exquisite chapel overlooking the old town. It is where the remains of one of the great masters of the Renaissance are presumed to be buried. It is presumed because during the French Revolution, most of the castle was destroyed, including the original chapel where the great master was entombed. The remains are a subject of debate. Several findings say it's him based on an exceptionally large skull indicating his intellect. They also found a bronze ring, white hair, and tombstone fragments with some letters which could form his name, Leonardo da Vinci. Isn't it amazing to think that we are visiting one of the greatest minds of all time? But why is an Italian genius buried in France? In 1515, King Francis I, a patron of the arts, persuaded the 64-year-old polymath to come live in Amboise. So he packed a few of his most famous works including the Mona Lisa and lived in one of the king's residences, the Chateau du clos which according to legend was connected to the royal palace via an underground passageway. Leonardo was named the premier artist and engineer and architect of the king. He received 2,000 ecosole for his pension of two years. We weren't able to visit his home, but hopefully we can come back to see the place where he spent the last three years of his life. Now, let's continue our tour inside the Chateau d'Amboise, which started as a stone keep in the 11th century. It would later be owned by Viscount Louis d'Amboise, who was convicted of plotting against the monarchy and was supposed to be executed in 1431. However, he received a royal pardon but had to give up his chateau to King Charles VII. And so the Chateau Royal d'Amboise became an important place where French kings and queens lived in the 15th till the 19th century. 
but it was King Charles VIII who transformed it into one of the most luxurious French castles in the country. He hired French masons and Flemish sculptors, and upon his return from the Italian War in 1495, brought with him Italian architects and artisans, which highly influenced French architecture and landscaping. Unfortunately, he died at the age of 28 when he hit his head on the door lintel on his way to a tennis match in the palace. Several years later, King Henry II would come to live here with his wife, Queen Anne de Medici. But did you know that his mistress, Diane de Poitiers, lived just a few kilometers away at the Chateau de Chenonceau? Hey, we were just there! Goodness, it's a lot of walking. Dito tayo sa may souvenirs. They're all in French, these books. Oh, how cute is this? Pero ang mahal, it's like $39.95. It's expensive, bag. Which one is that? It's the Shambol. Oh, I That's the one I went to. You'll bring me there someday. Next year. Okay. This book's only 10 euros. The Chambord? No, the book. It's the whole book and all that. But it is in French? Oh, no, no it's English. It's oh, good. You want to get the book? Yeah. Yeah, so lalabas na tayo. And nandito na tayo sa town. Let's just take a walk over here. This is a cute cafe restaurant How cute everywhere. Parang may kumain na ng mga to. Ano ba yung lasa ng mga to? Tignan kaya natin. So 
we take a walk over here. Shot to do some more. Hindi ko alam kung tama yung pronouns ko, ha? Hindi ako marunong mag-French, pero... Ayan. Basahin natin. Ayan, so ginagawa pa nga siya. Parang minimaintain nila yung shuttle. And nung tinignan ko siya sa map, parang close daw siya. Kaya baka hindi tayo makapasok dyan. And we're gonna walk over another bridge right here. Medyo maingay kasi may construction. parang amphitheater dito. Sayang di tayo makapasok kasi sarado siya. Pero ito yung view. So beautiful. And over here you'll see the cathedral. There's some doves. Oh, dark. Parang Harry Potter lang to. Oh, we can go in here. The Count of Anjou, Folk Tuan Ra, was the one who built a stone keep in Amboise that later transformed into the Chateau Royal d'Amboise. I found out he was one of the great builders of medieval castles. He was called Le Grand Batisseur and built an estimated 100 castles throughout the Loire. Ganda ng view. He left the chateau de Saumur to his heirs until it was seized by the French king Philip Augustus in 1203. It feels as though we have journeyed through time and I look forward to coming back. On the next vlog, we'll have a long drive in the French countryside and just enjoy the fall season. So, I hope you come with me again. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on our next road trip. Salut!